When doing a basic health check, the temperature, respiration, and pulse should be measured. Temperature is taken using a rectal thermometer. First, the thermometer should be shaken down, then lubricated with either a commercial lubricant or saliva. To take the temperature, stand next to the horse, facing the rear as demonstrated. Lift the tail off to the side and gently place the thermometer into the rectum. It is a good idea to have some type of clip attached to the thermometer, which can be placed on the tail to decrease the chance of losing the thermometer on the ground. After 60 seconds, the thermometer is removed, fecal material wiped off, and the temperature is read. The normal temperature for the horse should be 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Heart rate can be taken at three locations and should be 30 to 40 beats per minute. One place is under the jaw as shown here. It can also be felt inside the fetlock as demonstrated here. Additionally, heart rate can be taken with a stethoscope in the heart girth area. Respiration is the number of breaths per minute. It can be taken by watching the horse's flank rise and fall as it inhales and exhales, which is considered one respiration. Respiration can also be taken at the nostrils. At rest, this should be 8 to 16 breaths per minute. Exercise, heat, and illness, as well as other factors, can increase the respiration and heart rate. All horsemen should be familiar with the basics of wrapping legs for either support or injury. The quilt or bandaging material should be wrapped around the leg as shown. Paying particular attention to staying smooth along the tendons which run down the back of the cannon. This wrap is placed between the coronet band and the knee. Next, the bandage portion is unrolled as shown here, first moving down the leg, leaving some of the quilt showing at the bottom. Then wrapping up the leg, ending just below the knee with again some of the quilt showing out of the top. The wrap should be snug, but not too tight and free of wrinkles. To correctly re-roll these track bandages, the fasteners are rolled inside the wrap as demonstrated. With Velcro fasteners, the simplest method is to stick the Velcro onto itself and then roll as it is shown here. When done in this manner, the wrap can be placed on the leg without wrinkles or kinks. Abscesses and other foot injuries are commonly treated by soaking. To prepare the soak, one or two handfuls of Epsom salts should be placed in a tub. A large shallow tub such as this should be used. Buckets with handles are unsafe and should be avoided. Then water, as warm as the horse can stand, can be added. Depth of the water will depend on the type of injury. However, however most commonly it need to be only up to the coronet band of the foot. Most often, two people will initially be needed to handle the horse. To place the foot in the solution, lift the leg up, then slide the tub under the horse and gently place the foot into the tub. Some horses may become scared and may spill the solution at first. However, most will accept this fairly quickly. The foot should remain in the soak for approximately 20 minutes or as long as instructed. When finished, lift the leg, remove the tub, and then walk the horse out, keeping it as quiet as possible. If the injury requires wrapping, it should be done before moving the horse to keep the foot as clean as possible. All equipment used around horses should be routinely inspected. 
Turnout pens should be examined for materials on the ground or problems with fencing that could become unsafe. Feeders should be spread out to discourage fighting and allow horses to eat and should be examined for sharp edges. We hope that after viewing this videotape, you have a better appreciation and understanding of how to work with your horses on the ground. For more information about working with horses and other things dealing with horses, please contact your local county extension office.